Hey designers, what's going on? My name is Fami MD and I'm a UX UI designer in Toronto. And today we are going to talk about the introduction of wireframe. Like what the is it? And why do companies use it? And should you use it? Is it important? Do I do it? Do big brands do it? Anyways, let's just get started. A wireframe is a stage that occurs before the interface design. In my past experience, I've seen BAs, developers, and pretty much non-designers create wireframes. But was it the best though? That's where UX Guru comes into place and why I, that's why my friend, have a job. <laughs> no, but for real though, like, this process will help you understand where to place important content on each page. For example, applying UI components, icons, call to actions, banners, so discovering the type of banner sizes that you need from desktop all the way to mobile, uh, these kind of things, wireframe really comes to place. The best color for a wireframe is either a solid black color or dark grayish. Let me show you some examples right now. All right, now here is a perfect example of a wireframe. So as you can see, um, there are no colors except gray. You can either do a solid black or gray. I think gray looks kind of, kind of cool. The only thing that I would personally change here would be um, this icon here. Instead of putting an image icon, I'll definitely add the client logo and change it to this gray color. Aside from that, everything looks great. Um, places where the image will be, it's an icon. And uh, as you can see, the, the shopping cart has an icon. The search engine has an icon. That's great. So this is a product detail page, straightforward. And then when you click on add to cart, it will take you to the shopping cart, right? So the important thing about this, the only thing that I would do is number one, aside from applying the client's logo, I'll definitely import all of this on Envision for prototype purposes, therefore the client can understand it very well. So for example, the client can click on add to cart, it will take them to this page. When they click next, it will take them to the shopping detail page. And then when they click next again, it will take them to the pay now page, which is the, which is the payment options. Like I cannot stress this enough, keep it one solid color like this over here. They, they have chose gray, so just keep it gray. And this is how just, because that's how wireframes should be. It is one of the highly used UX stages where various of famous brands such as Airbnb, Google, Uber, Lyft, Amazon, even YouTube have been using for many, many years, probably before you were born. I don't know about that, but yeah, for a very long time. All right, so now here is a fun tip. When it, when it comes to wireframe, I'm not sure if everyone does this, but I've been doing it and have saved me a lot of time because clients and stakeholders, they don't really understand wireframes unless if it's interactive. Now, to make it interactive, you can upload it on a prototype tool like Envision. I have the link for that in the description below. It's not a paid, paid sponsorship video at all. So upload it on Envision and make it interactive so your client and or stakeholders will understand the website flow. So if you have say four pages of wireframe, upload it and make them interactive so they can understand how to get from point A to point B. Now there are a few design softwares out there where you can create these wireframes such as Sketch, Blasomic, Miro, Mock Plus, Just In Mind, and I'm sure there are a lot more. Since I'll be using Adobe XD in my design course, um, I am going to be creating these wireframes in Adobe XD. Okay, now here is a fun fact number two, or, or quick tip number two, whatever it is. Um, if you are starting out at, as a UX UI designer and you're wondering, hey, what softwares to use, the best thing to do is go to your job posting websites that are famous in your city. For example, in Toronto, the famous job posting websites are LinkedIn, Glassdoor, and Indeed. They are famous, everybody here, majority of the, of the people here will use those websites, either for design, programming, accounting, whatever it may be. So now, the job postings over here in the descriptions, it will say must have experience using Photoshop, XD, Sketch, Figma, and Envision. Those softwares are very famous in Toronto and I use Adobe XD myself. So when I'm applying for a job, I don't have to worry about um, learning a new software because I've been using XD for a very long time. And if they do mention wireframe, figure out which wireframe softwares they use and try to learn it. Like in my case, I can tell you that in Toronto, designers either use Sketch, 
uh, XD or they even write the wireframes out on a piece of paper. Some of them are still old school, but the ones who are more uh, evolved, they will either design their wireframes on uh, Sketch or XD. So try to figure that out and then perhaps come back to this video because I will help you create a wireframe. And last but not least, I found a perfect article for you guys to read a little bit more about wireframe if this video was not enough and if you have any questions feel free to comment below and i will answer anything regarding wireframe and i will do my best the link for the wireframe that you guys can learn a little bit more is obviously in the description below until then i will see you guys on the next video where I am going to design a wireframe and you guys are gonna see how cool it is. Okay, until then, my name is FimeMD. Thank you for watching this video. Like this video if you liked this video and please share it to your designer friends and I will see you guys once again on another video. Peace out. Why am I sweating? I don't even get it. Like I actually, like, I don't even know if you can see this. Whew, I'm just sweating. Okay, from now on, next video, I promise I'm gonna be more professional. I'll wear a dress shirt. You know what? Who cares? I've been eating unhealthy. I'll start eating healthy from now on. I don't know. Have you guys been eating healthy or unhealthy? Because this quarantine thing is pretty BS. I actually bought a printer, eh? It's a laser ink printer. That's right. Your boy just stepped up his game in the printing game, even though I'm hardly gonna use the printer. You never know though. I think two months back, I bought a whole bunch of ink, thinking that my my printer over there, which is Brother, it's actually called Brother right there, yeah, that one. My new printer is also Brother, by the way. So I thought, hey, instead of buying a new printer, why don't I just buy a bunch of ink from Amazon and use that, so that way I can be smart. But guess what? The old one doesn't work. It sucks, so pissed off. So I, therefore, I ended up Spending a couple hundred bucks buying a new printer. What can you do?